Amen. Thank God. So that means that my whole life has changed. I'm, I'm not just going to church. Amen. I'm not just going to worship. I'm not just, amen, working in church. Amen. I am a citizen of, of the kingdom of God. Why? Because I've been born into the kingdom of God. And every person that's been born into the kingdom of God, you got power. Amen. amen. Jesus says, and I think I said this last Sunday, but I said again, just for the sake of argument. Amen. I said last Sunday, amen, thank God that the Bible says when Jesus was talking to his children, amen, he said, I give you power. Amen. I'm going to give you power to bind. I'm going to give you power to loose. Amen. Thank God. Now watch this. Because everything he says, everything, amen, thank God, that is bound in heaven, I want you to bind it in earth. He's talking to the sons now. He's talking to his children. Amen. Thank God. He has given us that authority. He said whatever, amen, uh, King James says, whatever, amen, is bound in heaven shall be bound in the earth or whatever you bind and whatever you loose. Amen. I think the Amplified Version says whatever, amen, is bound in heaven. Amen. Think we're already bound. They're already brought under captivity. Already control. Amen. He said you bind it in the earth. Amen. Thank God. So the, the, the believer's power Amen. And here's where we kind of liken just a little bit. Amen. The believer's power is, amen, that, uh, that we are to bind and loose. Now, I know it's been a long time since was bound, some of us bound anything. Amen. <laughs> it's been the other way around. I understand that. But what I'm trying to get you to understand, that's not the way it was ordained to be. Amen. Thank God, thank God. I, I understand, I understand the process because that's what we've been in. We've been surrounded with being bound by stuff. Hallelujah. Thank God. That's been our environment. Thank God. So, so it's, 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 it's normal. Thank God. It is a normal reaction, amen, that, that when things happen that we, we end up bound. Amen. Because we fail to recognize that we have power to bind what's trying to bind us. Amen. Thank God. When you're walking with God, hallelujah, thank God. When you're walking with God, you can speak things, then God will honor your word. Why do you think God told us to bind if he wasn't going to honor? What he's telling us is, amen, thank God, what I'm telling you to do in the earth is what's already done in heaven, amen, this is my decision that you bind in the earth. All I need you to do is carry out my decision. Amen. Thank God. If I give you an order and I give you the authority to carry it out, all you need to do is carry it out. I made it. I gave you the power to do it. Thank God. So what's missing? Something to think about, isn't it? As a son of God, amen, when God gives a commission or a command, he doesn't send you out lacking anything. Thank God. Thank God. Jesus says to the disciples, as my father sent me. So send I you. Other words, the same authority that my father sent me out with, I'm giving you the same authority. Our situation in church today, and God help us, amen, help us all, is that we fail, thank God, to recognize who we are and to implement the authority that's given us. Now, what you must understand also is just because we have the authority doesn't mean that we're going to run into not going to run into resistance. Amen. The devil is going to come against us. Amen. Thank God with all forces. Thank God in the mind, the body, in any other way that he can. He's going to come against us. Amen. Thank God to try to discourage us and to cause us, amen, to fold because we don't really understand the authority that we got. But I'm going to tell you something today. Faith, amen, is not when the sun is shining. Faith is when you got to wait on some stuff. Faith is when you got to hang on in there when you don't see no daylight. Faith in God is when it looks like everything is going wrong. Faith is when everything you touch turns sour. Then you got to hold on and keep your eyes on God because you are a son of God. Faith is when all the news is bad, but you keep on standing. Somebody give God a praise in here.
Yeah, amen. I'm a believer. I trust in God. Uh, thank God every report that came my way was a bad report. It's kind of like Brother Brandon said, amen. When they gave him the bad news, uh, he kept on standing. Uh, amen. He didn't go with the flow. He didn't sway with the news, but he stood his ground. Thank God. Thank God. The believers in Christ must stand their ground because you and I are going to be challenged. Uh, thank God on every side. Uh, the Bible says, Think it not strange concerning the fiery trials that ought to try us as though some strange thing has happened to us. Somebody give God a praise in here. Uh, yeah, yeah. Amen. Now, now here, let me just say this while I'm at this point. Amen. Thank God. Thank God. Because when we are challenged, hallelujah, when we are challenged, the challenge is for two reasons. Amen. Thank God. One of the reasons is so that God can show us who he is. Amen. The other one, thank God, is for us to learn how, amen, to use, amen, thank God, our God-given abilities that God has placed in us. Amen. Thank God. That's what the challenge is for. Thank God. Amen. The challenge is not going to hurt us because God is watching over whatever the enemy brings to us, whatever God allows him to bring because he can't bring anything that didn't come by God. Amen. He's going to have to go by God before he can ever get to your house because you are a son of God and the only way he can touch you is that God allow him to do so. So you got to understand, thank God that you are already a winner. Ah, hallelujah. Glory be to God. Glory be to God. Thank God. So as sons of God, children of God, amen, don't be weary. Thank God because the enemy tests you, because things come against you. Thank God God allow that. Amen. Thank God he allow it. Amen. So that we can exercise our faith in him so that we can understand that we are not, amen, the ordinary folk. The Holy Spirit makes you extraordinary. Thank God because you stand stuff that other folk can't stand. Amen. You walk through stuff that other folks have failed in. Thank God you go and praise God because of the nature that in you. Amen. Think other folk are falling. Other people are committing suicide. Amen. Coming all kinds of problems. But you're still standing. Think of you're still saying, I, tr I trust you, God. I don't know how you're going to do it. It's not even my business to worry about that. But I want you to understand. Thank God that I'm going down. If I do, I'm going down with you. Thank God we're going to go down together. I'm not going to leave you. I'm not going to forsake you. I'm going to stand my ground and I'm going to give you the glory that rightfully belongs to you. Uh, bless your God. Now, beloved, are we the sons of God? Hallelujah. Now, not after a while. Hallelujah. Now, right now, hallelujah, we are the sons of God. We are the children of God. Now, here's something that, 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 that you need to understand. Amen. Romans chapter uh, 8 and verse 17, and I said this, I think, on last Sunday as well. The Bible says, amen, thank God, that, that we are heirs of God and joint. 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 We are joint. We are joint. You see that? See Brother Cody's arm working? Because I, I'm, he joined. We got a joint. Hallelujah. Thank God we are joint heirs. Hallelujah. Thank God everything Jesus has. Everything Jesus has. We, we are joint now. And Paul said that joints are working together. Ah, glory be to God. The joints are working together, working into a perfect man. Oh, God, I thank you. Hallelujah. We are sons of God. Hallelujah. We are joint heirs. We are heirs of God and joint heirs with Christ. Everything, amen, that worked for him works for us. That's why every morning when you get up out of the bed and you take a look in the mirror, you ought to say, I'm looking at a winner. Yes. Yes. Hallelujah. I'm looking at a winner. Yes. I remember when Brother Cody used to sing upon the hill, Rance Allen, a miracle. 
Amen. I mean, he's a miracle worker. When I look in the mirror, I see a miracle. Looking back at me. Hallelujah. Thank God. He is our Savior. He's our reflection. When we look at him, we are looking at ourselves. We are looking at the prototype, and we are the typer, amen, that follows in his footstep. Thank God. He says, whatever I'm doing, I'm going to give you power to do. Yes. Thank you. Amen. Now, now, as a son of God, thank God, God's intent is not that we beg him for anything. That's not his intent. We are not to get our face all messed up. Amen. Trying to persuade God. Thank God. We're not begging God. The Bible said acts. Hallelujah. And it shall be given. Right? He said, I said acts. Amen. He never said, I said beg. Listen, because you, you, you're not trying to get God to change his mind about something he already told you he's going to do. Right. Right. Amen. I'm not trying to persuade him. Oh, I know a lot of time when we come to him, that's what we think we're doing. Thank God. He said, you can change God's mind. Why would you want to change God's mind? God want to do you good. Why do you want to change his mind? God want to bless you. Why do you want to change his mind? God want to strengthen you. Why do you want to change his mind? God want to lift you. Why do you want to change God's mind? What you need to do is implement what God has already decided and say, okay, Lord, here I am. Just bless me. Just pour it out on me. Shower down on me. Let that anointing flow on me. I'm here. I'm yours. You said that. Yes. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Notice what he said. Thy will be done in the earth as it is in heaven. In other words, he wants to implement his will in the earth like it is in heaven. I'm going to tell you, ain't no losers in heaven. There's no losers in heaven. Thank God. No losers in heaven. Thank God. Amen. Thank God. Heaven is up and running. If you notice, heaven, the part that you can see in the, in, in the hemisphere, in the atmosphere, when the storm is over, guess what? You see sunshine and blue skies and everything is still in place. The sun is still where it's supposed to be. The Milky Way is where it's supposed to be. The stars are where it's supposed to be. Amen. No matter how gloomy it looks, when it's all over, oh God, I thank you. When it's all over, amen, the sky is still there. Hallelujah. You know why? Because it's behind the scene. So you got to understand somebody working behind the scene. Your strength come from behind the scene. All of you, your strength come from the presence of God. God is breathing into us. Hallelujah. Strength. God is breathing into us. Wisdom and knowledge. God is breathing into us. The ability to be overcomers because that's what he has designed you to be. Thank God is that nothing is to take you out. You are to take everything out. Thank everything that come against you. God has give you the power to be able to straighten up your shoulders, lift up your head, wipe your tears away, and declare unto God, I am a son of God. I'm almost finished. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Glory be to God. Now, amen. I, I just need to read this. Uh, if, if, and you can read with me if you like. First, uh, Second Peter chapter 1. Uh, thank God. It just, uh, just, 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 it just gets into my spirit. Amen. Thank God. And, and I just get excited. Glory be to God when I start discovering all these wonderful things about him. And what he says about me. Amen. Thank God. Thank God. God says some great things about you. Thank God. In, in, in 1 Peter chapter 3, uh, chapter 1 and the third verse, the Bible says, According as his divine power has given unto us. Huh? Can everybody say that? How much is all? Ain't nothing left out, right? According as his divine power has given unto us all things that pertain unto what? Life and what else? Godliness. Why? 
Through what? The knowledge of him that what? Call oh God. Amen. Thank God. Thank God. Amen. My people perish for a lack of knowledge. Right? Amen. Thank God. I, I need to know. According as his divine power has given unto, or did it say given? A given. It's already taken care of. Right? So now, here's logical thinking. Amen. If God got all this stored up for me, why do I need to spend my time begging for it? Make sense? Amen. He has given me. Never did he want me to have it, otherwise he wouldn't have gave it to me. He has given me all things that pertain to life and godliness through the knowledge of him. Amen? Thank God. Now, let me, let me hear something that you also may throw us off. If you remember, God, and God don't tell you everything. Amen. Thank God. Uh, he don't show us everything because if he did, some of us wouldn't go. <laughs> Hallelujah. When Israel left Egypt, God did, all God told them, I'm going to take you to a land that's flowing with milk and honey. They were looking at that. They were inspired by that. He didn't tell them what they were going to go through to get there. Because if he had told them, they stayed in Egypt. Can I just talk for a minute? Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Now, he didn't tell them, Brother Cody. He didn't tell them about all of the willingness and all that they were going to endure going to Canaan. He just said, I'm going to take you to a land that's flowing with milk and honey. Thank God. And so you can understand why they become so frustrated when the trials and the tests started coming. Because they thought they were going over into Canaan without any challenges at all. Amen. They didn't think anything. There were not going to be any enemies. There were not going to be any lack. They were just going over into Canaan. Hallelujah. Thank God. And then when the trials and the tests started coming, they were like so many of us. Hallelujah. Thank God. They began, amen, to complain. They began to cry because something unexpected had happened. But what they fail to realize is that the same God that started them on the journey told them where they were going. Told them what we're waiting for. So it become his responsibility to make sure that they get there. Yeah. Amen. Thank God. Thank God. And that, that's, that's the thing that happened with us. Amen. God make us a promise. He tell us something good. You know, somebody prophesies to us or whatever and tell us something, amen, that the God, God is going to do. Amen. But God didn't tell them how you were going to get to it. Amen. Thank God. Thank God. Amen. Thank God. Amen. Uh, amen. He didn't tell them, amen, about the test that they were going to have to go through. Amen. Thank God. They said, well, if he had told me about the test, maybe I'd have been a little bit better prepared. No, you wouldn't. Amen. Thank God. Thank God. You wouldn't have been no better prepared. Thank God. Thank God. And so you need to understand, thank God, too, that God always gives the test before the lesson comes. Let's say that again. God always gives the test before the lesson come. You take the test and then you learn the lesson. He don't think like we think. Hallelujah. We study for the lesson and then we take the test. God said I'm going to give you the test and then you're going to learn the lesson. Mm. Hallelujah. Thank God. That's how he should treat his children. But he can do that because he got everything under control. Right. Amen. Thank God. Oh, let, let, me, let me finish this up because we're going to get out of here. Amen. All right. All right. All right. I hope somebody getting something here. Amen. Amen. Thank God. Thank God. Amen. Uh, yeah. 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 So he says to us, whereby are given unto us, this is verse 4, whereby are given unto us exceeding great and precious promises that by these you might be partakers of the divine nature of the what? We may be what? Partakers of the divine nature having escape the corruption that is in the world. He give us exceedingly great 
and precious promises that we might be partakers of the divine nature having escaped the corruption that's in the world, right? Amen. I, I, I'm his son. I'm a part of him. All right? Thank God. I'm a part of him. Thank God. Amen. His nature is in me. I'm born of his spirit, washed in his blood. Hallelujah. Thank God. Sealed by the power of the Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. He have claimed me as his own. I'm thine and thine are mine. Thank God. Listen to me, children of God. Amen. And, and yes, we work, we serve God, but we are not servants of God. We are sons of God. If you read in Galatians, I can prove what I'm talking about. Amen. If you look in Galatians chapter 4, amen, verse 4, starting with verse 4, amen, the Bible tells us when the fullness of time was come, God sent forth his son made of a woman, amen, made under the law to redeem us from the curse of the law. Amen. Thank God goes on to tell us, amen, that we are no longer servants, but we are sons. Hallelujah. We're son. Now, even as a son and servant, you have a different status from folk who are not sons. Amen. Thank God. Thank God. You have a different status. Amen. From the people. If my son is, is working for me, amen. If he's working for me and, and Brother Cody is working for me, amen. My son has a different status than Brother Cody has because that's my son. Brother Cody is a hired servant. Amen. That makes a difference. Amen. And so he tells us, even though you're working for me, amen, you're at the highest level. Hallelujah. Thank God. You're working with me. Amen. You're working in my kingdom, but you're also working for yourself. We're working out of relationship. Others are working out of high. Uh, hallelujah. Thank God. And so as a son of God, amen, I, I become interested in what my father is interested in. His interests become my interests. His love become my love. What he hates, I hate. Because he's my father. Amen? Thank God. And my, my, my whole desire is to please my father. Amen? Because see, amen, didn't anybody out there beget you? You were begotten by your father. Okay, how many other come along? You were only begotten by one. There may be three or four that's maybe trying to claim you. But when you do the DNA... Am I making sense to anybody in here? Yeah. I don't care how many try to claim you. When the DNA come back, we going to know who you are. I don't care how long you've been feeding it. <laughs> Amen. When the DNA come back, the DNA is not going to lie. So when we are born again of God, it doesn't matter about what the devil try to accuse us of. Yeah. 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 Hallelujah. Tell me who I'm not. Check out the DNA. Hallelujah. Never mind the birth certificate. Anybody's name could be on there. Don't worry. I ain't worried about the birth certificate. I want you to do the DNA test. Hallelujah. Because when you do the DNA and the blood, everything is going to be told in the blood. The blood is going to tell the story. Am I right, medical folk? Amen. Amen. The blood is going to tell the story. Yeah. Hallelujah. Thank God. And we are purchased and redeemed by the precious blood of Christ. Yeah. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Glory to God. Hallelujah. His blood sanctifies, purifies, glorifies. His blood. Hallelujah. Cleanses us from all unrighteousness. Therefore, John has the authority to say, now, beloved. Thank God. It doesn't matter how long I was in sin. Don't matter. Don't matter. Thank God how much sin I committed. Hallelujah. Don't make it a difference how much I stole. Thank God in all of the stuff that I did when I become a son of God. Hallelujah. I become a new creature. I become regenerated. Amen. I was regenerated into the family. Thank God creation wouldn't bring me to this point fully. Therefore, he generated me. Through the genes and blood 
of Jesus. Thank God. And so as a child of God, thank you, as a child of God, as a child of God, you and I must recognize, thank God, that we have royalty in our lives. That we are, amen, the, of the very essence. We are the breath of God, amen, that's been breathing life into us, amen, and that we are not overcoming. We are overcomers. Right. Hallelujah. And that means you got power that when stuff start coming, amen, you start speaking to it. Yes. Amen. Thank God. I'm talking about talking to it. Amen. Thank God. Anything that challenge you, you ought to rise up with holy indignation. Thank God in your spirit. Thank God. God and declare the word of God I'm not going out like this I'm not going in this flow you are not going to take over here thank God there's one that is more powerful than you are that's living in me this body is the temple of the Holy Ghost that I've been bought with a price I don't even belong to myself and since I don't belong to myself you don't have no right You hear folks say, hey man, when something belongs to somebody else and you using it, you say, can, they say, can I do this? They say, no, it don't belong to me. If you want it, you need to see the owner. You want to weaken this body, you need to talk to the owner. Hallelujah. You want to attack this body, talk to the owner. He just let me use it. Hallelujah. I didn't say it. The Bible says it. Amen. Corinthians chapter 6. Amen. Thank God. Says that we are bought with a price. We do not belong to ourselves. This body was given to me to glorify God in. 